Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Hi everybody! So we are on our last paper pumpkin video, okay? Last one. This is number 18. This is going to be a two card project so it might go I try to keep them at 30 minutes sometimes they go over unless I tell you ahead of time and I'm telling you ahead of time this might be a little longer but hopefully not so um paper pumpkin video was called all the little things and I do want to give you a show of course I'm going to do a paper pumpkin review and you guys get to see all the projects so let's see this was the um instruction I call it a flyer um can see the instructions inside here great if you do not do paper pumpkin and you like paper crafting you are missing out i am telling you you just are love love this set so we also got a little free stamp organizer that came in our paper pumpkin for our spots that we get i just happened to put it in a kit box because i want to decorate it i will show this when i get done decorating it in my paper pumpkin review I'm not going to do it on camera. Um, so sometimes I create just for myself. Of course, I'm a crafter. This is so exciting, guys. Absolutely excited about this. Um, exploring in colors. The great outdoors and explore with this new kit. This is May's kit. I'm excited for that. So with that being said, I will give you a look at what the stamps were. With deepest sympathy, we might use that one. Enjoy your day. We might. No, I, I'm going to do thank you cards. With deepest sympathy, enjoy your day. I'm grateful for all the little things you do. This uh, snakeskin looking one, as I've come to <laughs> think of it. The little blossom, the little branch, and celebrate today. Um, adding to this kit, I am going to use the circle celebration, which I will do a whole month of that in October. Is that what I have scheduled um, but on one of the cards so far I used the two and three eighths love this size two and three eighths circle punch for a piece of vellum and I'm gonna use thank you on that particular card I already have that mounted so you can see I cut up an envelope we I literally have pieces from this kit I have these two pieces this little piece here and this. I need to turn on the light. I just realized that. Hold on. One of my lights in my room is not on. I'm like, why is it so dark in here? It's not that late and it's summertime. That's my Harry Potter <laughs> door alarm going off. It's light sensitive. So um, I have this piece we're going to cut up and do kind of like a faux floating um, image. Um, these two pieces, I'm not sure if I'm going to use both of them. This piece I thought I would use, but maybe not. <laughs> Just give it, telling you like it is. Okay, this envelope is going to be used as an envelope. Um, so I will need to get another one later. I'm going to use some Delicata ink to bring in some of that silver. I, I don't want to bother embossing. Um, let me set that aside. So I cut up my envelope. Let me show you what else we have. We have two basic white card bases with um, pieces of sh shaded spruce that are four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, card bases are five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Let's set those aside. So my envelope pieces. I've already cut up my envelope. Yikes! I'm losing a piece here. So I have these two strips here this is the front of the envelope and that's where I got those from so those actually would go like this the side and the top okay this is the back of the envelope and there is this piece so I'm going to try to use I'm not sure about this piece but I'm going to try to use all of this on these cards so I have this crazy idea Let's set this one is for card number two. This set is for card number one. And I know this is going to look really strange, but let me show you my idea. So 
going to have to do some finagling on cutting this down. Probably should have done it on the cardstock first, but I changed my mind. I am going to bring this like so. I'm going to use these lines. I'm going to keep them there. I just think that looks really kind of cool. So that's what I'm going to go with. Now I'm going to bring in, as this is a polymer stamp set, something to stamp onto because we're going to need this bit. Um, because I want to stamp in that delicata ink, that little snakeskin now image. <laughs> Can't help but that's what it reminds me of. So, hopefully it shows up the way I think it should. So I'm going to start right here. Move that aside. Ooh, and it does, it's got that mere gold foily looking image. So I'm going to go... I want to go out to the corner, so I'm going to turn it. We're going to do quite a bit of rotating with this. There. It's okay that it goes there because it ain't going to bother nobody. There. I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going to fill in this bit here. ink pad needs re-inked but it will do the job I'd rather have it be a bit drier and when I use a type of ink like this I do go inside and I have a little toothbrush an old toothbrush because I think it works better there we go um, that I go and I scrub it off with that's how I clean a uh, crafting uh, Versamark. I do it all like that. So you can see, woohoo, there it is. Now let's see if we can get this on there. I do like it. Okay, glue please. So now I know I need glue here and here because I'm going to have a little like quarter of an inch bit there. Okay. So let's see. Oh yeah, definitely like this. Looks pretty straight to me. I'm almost afraid to use these great big honking scissors I bought. Okay. I'm using this edge, putting this edge, the one that is on your scissors. You have a right and left side, the one on the right hand side. I'm butting up to the edge of my card to guide. We are, we are still working here. So I'm going to open this up now. And again, using the edge of the card base as a guide to cut a straight line. The handles do get in the way a bit. I could probably have stuck it on the guillotine, but I might have cut my card up. Okay, so it's on. Now we have that bit too I could use, and I might. Don't put it past me. We're going to stick that aside there. So this one, see, it covers that up, but I like this element of that. I just, I just do. I don't know why, but I do. So we're going to do that again. We're going to add glue here, here and right in here lay it down and wiggle it oops we got more at the top than we do at the bottom 
That looks good. Oh, look at I'm going to have another strip I can use. Okay, this strip might go on the inside of the card. When I do cards like this, guys, I don't have a sample always because, like I said, I only can afford one paper pumpkin kit. And there's not always. Sometimes I can do a sample. Sometimes I can't. But that is my idea, and I really like it. Oh, I can. I, no, let's just stop while we're ahead, right? <laughs> okay. Um, these are very sharp little scissors. Big scissors, actually, for what I'm used to. So next, my idea is to bring in that vellum. You can see that's one of these little pieces I keep in a little bag. Label me lovely punch, I will always use that, is gonna go there. But now we need to cut this apart. I already know where I'm gonna cut this. I need little scissors for this. Okay, I'm cutting this here off. Then I'm going across to there cutting here and cutting here. So let's just go for it, right? So there's that. It's loose. Now this one is going to go straight here, kind of. We're going to cut that in a minute, but this is just me getting it cut apart. All right, and we're going to snip this off. We are going to cut all that frame out. So we're going to make that a bit pointier because it's a leaf. Straighten that out a bit. Okay. Now this one is okay. We're going to cut this frame off. I tinted. I wonder if I cut all of those frames off this kit. Took them all apart. Went a little too far, so I gotta continue with it. Didn't mean to cut all the way down in there, but we'll go with it. There's that. And that part. Now in here, I am thinking, I am considering cutting all of that off. Let me, let me take a look here because I wanted, I wanted to float that up kind of, so I'm not sure exactly yet. Let's see, that's not what I had intended. Might need to do some more trimming here. So if I bring this here, because I want this up on dimensionals, boo, and that can go right there. So yes, we're going to cut all of that off up here. Maybe I'll add them there, but for now we're going to cut that all away. So here we go. No fear, no fear. It's okay. And then we can trim that, make that a bit more curvy like a leaf is supposed to be. We'll come in and curve it. There's that one. And this one needs some, some help here. We're going to Cut that off completely. Not sure exactly where on the card these might fit, but I do need to trim those edges down. Okay. Dude. I always call that bug a June bug, but my daughter tells me that is not a June bug, mother. A flying bug. All right. So I said, oh, that is really pretty. This one may need that leaf. I wonder if I can do that to cover that to make it. Ooh, that almost makes it, doesn't it? 
almost, but not quite. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. So this might come down here more to get some of our leaf. We can put that one there. Isn't there another? I thought I had three pieces I cut off. Oh yes, it was this one. <laughs> it was this one that we could do there. And this one, I wonder if I could fix that. I bet we could. I bet we could make this look like it goes on that leaf. It's just going to be a bit more roundy, roundy than pointy. I just got to trim some of that white off. And let's see if we can make this a pointed, a rounded leaf. It's not exactly the same. Let's see, but it might be enough. It's going to be enough. We're going to, yeah, it's going to be just fine. You won't even be able to tell. This one needs a little bit of shaping here. There's way too much white going on. Okay. Or I could do that one. I could totally... I, you guys know me, I just sometimes fart around with things. No, that is not going to work. This one might, though. This one might do it. That will go there. I like how much larger that is. This is going to go here. It's going to sit on top of everything. And I can still add that one and this one. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But I do like this. So this now is going, like I said, I wanted it to have a little bit of that floating look to it. And there's a bit jaggedness there. Let's trim that off. Dimensionals, dimensionals, where are you? So we need one on all the leaves, which means there's five. And that bit doesn't really need anything because it's not going to do anything. I mean, it might be a little bit for stability. So should I add like a mini there? We will do that just, just to be on the safe side. So let's move that aside. Bring in the minis to the rescue. Okay. I only need one of you. Thank goodness it has a plastic backing, right? Maybe, maybe not. That one's going to get some glue on it to fix that boo-boo. All right. Right there. I have to fix that. Touch of glue will do it. And let's put it in its place. really pretty very very pretty and this one then is just gonna go on top of that leaf just gonna add glue right to the leaf and then this is gonna go right on top so we need some glue dots that are right here So I can put one there and one right there. Add my circle to it. Oh, I forgot to stamp in shaded spruce. We need our thank you. And I know I mounted it. Oh, it's right there in front of me. So let's see, bring in that little pad of paper for some cushioning. And once again, this is from Circle Celebrations. It's 
says thank you. Oh, really pretty. And you know something? It needs it needs a little bit of that granny apple green. It needs a little bit of brightness to it. So full strength. No. Just second generation. So stamping off. Stamping off again. Gonna come up here. Could leave room for the rhinestones there. So we're gonna do just a tiny bit there. And I want just that little bit of a hint to it. And I'll leave that in case I wanna use that color on the inside of my card. So, ooh, lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, this is getting glued down with glue dots. The reason being is because we're working with vellum, guys, and vellum doesn't play nicely. It likes to be its own component with its own special rules and regulations, I guess you could call it. We're going to do five glue dots. I could have used a piece of tear tape. Afterthoughts as I continually so get those off. You know what now that I'm looking at it a little bit of balmy blue flowers would be really pretty like right here 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 and there oh no 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 we are not going there Alice <laughs> okay so card number one is just about done we're gonna stamp some stuff on the inside um, you could just leave it but we are going to go one, two, one, two, and three. And that is our thank you card. Really simple, actually. Just that envelope, and I think it gives it a great different look. So remember I said we could use that one piece for the inside. And I even like that it's angled. We could go this way but I really think I want to go this way but I want to trim that down but I want the that bit of an angle those little edges I want those to be on here so we're going to move the shaded spruce so I don't ink anything up unintentionally and we are going to trim this right to that edge so there that looks really good. And I still have the strip. We could put that on the envelope. Of course we can. Yes. All right. So at least, let's see. Does that not look straight? Looks whiter here. Okay. That piece will not work. This is a nice straight edge for some reason. This will go on the envelope. One of the two will work. All right going to use that as my guide, a roughly guide that is. I'm counting the ends come off just a hint so I can snip them and I know that they're straight. This one is just ever so bit. All right, so thank you, um, and we could stamp on the inside. I'm grateful for all the little things you do. Let's do it. That's from our stamp set. Beautiful. Oh, uh, why not? Why not? We're going to add, I need to stamp off. We are going to come in just ever so bit with that little pop of green and a little bit more. It's 
see, right there. And envelope, envelope. Well, we have our envelope right here because look how well that goes together. Yes, so that's the envelope for that. That's card number one of the two card process. Now, this one, we're gonna have to see what we have to work with. I know that I have this. This I cut down to four by five and a quarter. And where are these two elements? Wasn't sure about this one as much as I was that one. So once again, we're going to trim all of our sharp ends off. Any pointiness and I'm kind of thinking we're going to go here and then cut that there. We might keep this. I'm just going to trim it though. Like so. Now my original idea was to turn it like so. This was my idea. Let's see if it works. So there's that. And where is this piece? See, I'm thinking, I know that's got to just come off. And it will, it's going to come off. And then I have this piece here we could do. I'm not sure, these two just may not be used at all. I, I don't see anything um, else for them. So this, we're going to go ahead and trim this right to here because that just is not helping me at all. We could do up here and then, or bring that in and thank you for all the little things you do. I don't care for that. Just options here. All right, so landscape this way or keep it on the green and do half of that on and off and then have that piece over there. No, we're going to put it back on the blue, put it back on the blue. We're going to stick with what we originally started, which is right there. This is going to go up on dimensionals. This, hmm, I really wanted a thank you. Well, thank you fit on this one. We'll stamp it and see what it looks like. And it either is going to work or it isn't going to work. And it's going to work. <laughs> I thought it would help me out if it didn't work, you know. It might help me out. But we are definitely using this piece this banner. Um, it does need, does it really need anything else? To me, it, it's a little lost over here. So maybe come in a little bit, um, not with Delicata. So um, maybe I can scrub it real quick with my, yeah, I can scrub that real quick. So we're going to glue this down. Yes, we are keeping it as it is. We are keeping it, we're keeping it simple. Don't need to over, over think it because I second guess myself when I do that. So our balmy blue piece, which I'm going to turn it this way. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tiny smidgen of shaded spruce ink on here, right there. And I don't want that to show, but I want this up on dimensionals. So one there, there, here, here, one there, one on all the good parts, and minis. So minis to the rescue, one there, 
come to me in one right there. And let's see if we can pop these off with my nails by pushing down in the middle. Usually pops the sides up. I know people who use pokey tools, but I'm not into stabbing things. <laughs> And uh, I was afraid I would poke my card, ruin my card by doing that. So those of you who can, all the more power to you. I'm not taking that chance. Okay. Come off of me. So this is now going in our corner, right on top of that edge. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And I forgot we were going to stay up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Alice. Oh, okay. We're going to clean this off quickly. I have my little baby toothbrush I use for fletching. I use it for a lot of things. So I'm going to spray some stamping mist cleaner on the delicata because I want to remove it gently. And this is all I do in the sink. Okay, I'll take that in and clean it off. I'm going to wipe that off. And then I have this little spray bottle. H2O. I'm just going to make sure I get all that residue off. And then I have my, there's the other half. I have another one that's a half. It's okay. We'll use this to soak up all that water. And a little towel to make sure it's nice and dry it off. I don't want to have ink on it. We could. I could have put that maybe behind there, but I'm not going to. Thank you. So this is going to go here. So we're going to bring in our shaded spruce. And what do I have in the rubbish bin that I can use because we're going to do our snake skin. Yep. Do I want to go full strength? Yeah. Actually, since this is going to go here, we're just going to add some here. Ooh, that does it. Add some there and a little bit here. So like here. Let's protect the leaf. We don't want to get anything on there. So this is going to go here. I want it to be right about there. Didn't even need to bring that in. This is going to say thank you. And then, you know what? We are not going to need. We're going to keep it all. Maybe. No. No, we're not. We do need some protection. We need. <laughs> oh, I should have forgot when I glued that on there what I was doing. Okay. So, we, we don't want those sharp ends. I just want it to be, like, right there. Yes. So, there kind of needs a wee bit in there <laughs> like coming out of there can I pry this up guys what do you think oh yeah that will do it that will work thank you so much we need a straight edge right yikes Come on, work with me. It's like not wanting to help. All right. So I have that in place. Yes, I'm making it more difficult than it needs to be. Darn it. I hadn't included this down, but you guys see what I do sometimes, and that's how it goes. All right. 
There we go. Now that can go back there. And a teeny bit. Since we're doing that, we might as well bring it all the way around, right? There. And then right in this little bit of a corner, we just want a smidge. Ta -da! All right, now I can add thank you and feel confident. And I got some ink on there, so what are we gonna do? Me and the ink today. All right, we are gonna stamp around. Here we go. Me and getting this done. So I'm gonna use this side so you can see. See that little dotted line on there? My nail is in the way. There's some on that side. Ooh, sometimes mistakes make the best cards, guys. Sometimes, you know, a mistake will turn into something really cool like it is now. Okay, moving this along the edge of that. I'm gonna turn it. Little painstaking, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh, sometimes little mistakes. Got to love them. Don't want to fight them. Just go with it. And if you have to start over, you start over. You know, some, but sometimes like this is really cool looking. Oh, very, very cool looking. We're going to go with that straight part of it. And this one, I just need right there will fit in it. I can't believe that came out so well. <gasps> ah, okay. Let's move that aside. Move the ink way over there so we don't do anything. Now this is going to go right there. And we need, let's see, we need two dimensionals and a glue dot. Pokey tool, please. So I need a glue dot. Oh, look at the ink on me, guys. Look at the ink on me. Yikes. Okay. Don't want to ruin the card. It's going to come out so cool. All right, glue dot. Just making sure where it's going to meet. This. So I'm just going to put one right here because I don't think it's going to need any more. Pull these off. Put some rhinestones on this baby. Oh, I am so pleased. So we need one, two, and this time, okay, we need, we may need a few. How many do I have left? Okay. We have six. So this one needs one, two, and you get off of there, three, at least three. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. And that is simply gorgeous. Absolutely love it. This one, I'm thinking it needs, has three, four, five, six. Can I put a couple on this side or over here? No, nope, we're going to leave it. I might just mess it up if I continue. So envelope time. Yes, this one. Thank you. We're going to stamp the inside. But remember, we had this little strip from our envelope that we are going to use. You can hear my husband and them yelling. Sorry. They're playing a game, him and my grandson. And I don't think they realize how loud they are. So let's keep it off the page. It is crooked though. So we're going to 
we're going to cut this with the guillotine. I'm not sure why that is so crooked. But it is. Crooked, crooked, crooked. And hopefully that is straight. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it. The piece itself is not straight. Okay, we're just going to go with that. Guillotine time. So, actually, no, we don't need the guillotine. We need a pair of scissors anywhere would be nicely done so cut and cut him and my grandson now are speaking on the megaphone in there <laughs> gosh those two boys okay so thank you for all the little things you do Actually, it says, I'm grateful for all the little things you do. So there we go. And I don't think those boys realize, have a clue how loud they really are. So we do have these little elements, which we could do. Ooh, we'll do one there and one there. Why not use it? So, ooh, that is more than enough. And the glue is coming out of the glue bottle. Sometimes it does that when it gets too much air in it. So this one is going to go right there. And I just cannot help but laugh at those two. I mean, my husband will be the biggest child. That's what I love about him too, is that he makes me laugh and... You know, there are times when he can be serious, but uh, I'll tell you a quick little snippet about my husband. When our children were teenagers and their friends were all going out trick-or-treating, my husband bought himself his own costume, this gorilla-like mask and a uh, cloak that, you know, and he went literally trick-or-treating and I do mean it. He asked for candy at houses. And he went with my children, not as a chaperone, but to trick or treat himself. It was so hilarious. And we have always laughed about that. So um, do I need to show you an envelope? No, we could put this one in a, um, in a clear envelope and that would work. You could also, I was thinking in clear envelopes, you could just address it on the back of the card. And, and that would work too. So anyways, there you go. My last two projects for Paper Pumpkin. And I still have these two pieces left. These will just go in my white basket of uh, white scrap paper is all. And I am finished now. I'm going to do my Paper Pumpkin review. I really hope you guys um, like this project. Um, I know it was a little struggle there, but we got to it in the end. I do have this strip. <laughs> And that strip and those are gonna go in the recycle bin and that's it everything I've used oh well I can't say everything I still have a bit of that black and I guess you could have put a bow on there but I really don't want to so that's just gonna go in my little drawer with my other Baker's twines and um, please like comment share if you are so inclined I would greatly appreciate it but more than ever, I hope you come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye now.